and welcome to another webinar here with Brizzy. I'm JP and it's six o'clock in the evening where I am. And welcome to everyone. We've got quite a number of people who have already joined. Let us know you are there. Okay, we see Rogler, Andreas, welcome everyone. And hope it's not too late or too early for you. Okay, the names are coming in. So welcome tonight to our workshop on Brizzy Essentials. Um, Dimitri and I, we, we do want to stress that this is essentials. So we will be looking at very basic stuff at how you get the Brizzy, where you install it, and then, you know, just how you start the basic building with Brizzy. And let's look at then, let me just move to the next slide here. So our goal is then tonight to give you complete beginners and newcomers an overview of the product. So if there are any newcomers here, people who have not played with Brizzy yet, then tonight will be a good time for you to have an idea of what's going on here. Hello to everyone. I see there's people from UK, Latvia, Croatia, Nigeria. Oh, audio, audio, uh, you can hear me, right? I think you guys can hear me. India, Israel, Argentina, audio ID, fine. Thank you very much, good. That's what we got, Australia, Thank you, Roberto, you can hear me. And Canada, yes, I can. Philippines, welcome. Lebanon, Brazil, Germany, Indonesia, uh, Mexico City, Florida. Oh, you, this is really amazing. See everybody from all over the world. There we have Bavaria, Netherlands, South Africa. Hello, Veronica, another South Africa, Dirk, Guyanant. And then we have Brazil, another sunny South Africa, Moritz, uh, Florida. Um, yeah, and I can go on. Everyone, welcome here. Welcome to our second webinar. And like we said in the previous webinar, what we're going to do is do this as regular as possible, uh, tackle different topics every time, and uh, we'll get to the housekeeping very soon. Let's quickly look at the second goal for tonight before I start using up precious time. We're going to lead, uh, look at how to set up Brazil in WordPress and then begin building with the pre-made designs and then cover the basics of how to build a section from scratch. I do believe that many of you already know how Brizzy works. So you are joining tonight to watch a little bit just what's going on, maybe see something interesting or just to have a little bit of time with us here. The game plan then is 60 seconds and then we'll have a few Q&A on the topics and I'll talk quickly about Dimitri's role here because he is here, but you won't hear him tonight. Dimitri has to practice piano. No, I'm just joking, but he's here. We'll cover the Brizzy essentials, like where do you get it, install, what do you do, how do you use the blocks? And then the most important part then is your questions, please stay on topic. No commerce questions tonight or WPML and all those kind of things. We can stick it to the essentials. If you see something we are doing, you don't understand, go ahead, ask the question. Dimitri is in the chat room and he will take care of those questions where he can. At the end, there is a surprise, so stick around for that. And then, like I said, no tech support because I'm no techie, no roadmap questions or development. This is just a how-to. But you can check it out or go to the forum if you want to have a little bit more ideas of what's going on currently in the world of Brizzy. Right, so finally we got a question, uh, not a question, a, a photo of me smiling, except I didn't shave. I look at this and I feel so embarrassed, but anyway. So welcome, I'm JP, it's short for Jean-Pierre Palisier, or in South Africa, like we said, Palisier. And then I'm a content developer here for Brizzy at YouTube and the webinars. Well, uh, I got into website design and I think most of us have very interesting stories how we got into website design. And I think mine is almost more than a decade ago when I was working for a client, the NGO actually, and what happened is that this NGO was working on a website and somebody came to show them how to maintain the website. And as this person was showing them, it was a WordPress website. I thought, wait a minute, are they paying this guy to do this? I can do this because of the photography in my video background. And that's how I got interested into it. Back then, we only used themes, page builders weren't something on the block yet. And it's just amazing how things have grown. And the more it grow, the more I became interested and more involved in it. And basically in the last few years, when it came to page builders and website, I've not made many websites, but I was teaching this to others and my clients. Okay, and then I have a terrible fear of flying. So this is a little bit about us. I travel actually quite a lot, but it's one of those things I hated. It is terrible fear of flying. 
And what else am I disclosing here tonight about myself? My favorite food, pizza, all the way. Happy, happy pizza. Right, so I think I mentioned that Brizzy, uh, Brizzy that uh, Dimi and Dimitri, he's also here in the chat room. So you guys, you can reach out to him. If you have questions on topic, let's, let's stick to that thing on topic. So tonight, what are we going to have a look at? We're going to look at, and these are going to be very, very, very brief overlooks for newcomers to understand what is the checklist that you have to go through when you are interested in making a website, a few of the considerations. So we will be looking at hosting domains of WordPress, to theme or not to theme, a very big question. And then the important part for Brizzy is where do you get it? How do you install it? How does the activation work? And then we'll look at how to build a pre-made block and also working a block from scratch. So that is what we will be covering there. I just saw Dimitri also say welcome. And uh, yeah, we have another few more guys. Diego from Brazil. Are you the Diego from uh, Hyperdrive on Netflix? I guess not. Uh, <laughs> right. Let's have, um, we're going to look at the each step and we're going to start then with what we are going to do. In the first part, we're going to talk about hosting domains and WordPress. And let me just start sharing my screen here so we can move over to that. Right, so actually, where am I here? We are talking about hosting and domains. Let me just chop, drop here. One of the questions I think that we repeatedly get on the forum is what theme, what hosting, these kinds of questions. And I would say this is probably the most difficult one to answer. If you're a newcomer, it's easier. If you have been along, around in the game, it becomes quite tricky because we all have our different flavors. The most essential part is that if you look on the Brazil website, you will see create websites fast and easy with the best WordPress page builder plugin. So I guess everyone here, we understand this is a WordPress content management system. Everything runs within WordPress, so it operates within WordPress. And to go live, you need hosting. Now, hosting and themes are like Nikon, Canon, Sony, Fujifilm in the photography world. They basically do exactly the same, but everyone claims their product is better. So when it comes to hosting, this is not something that we're going to say, do this, go with this host or go with that host. This one is better, shared this is better or that is better but we do have a few partners and this is if you are a newcomer we recommend brand newcomers go to these hosting partners and the reason for it is that many of them include a one-click install if you don't know how to install wordpress by yourself then these are the ideal ways to go because what these guys will do is that they will install it for you and the most important part i will say for any newcomer is that before you sign up with any host, test out their customer support. There's nothing more frustrating than something happens on your site and you try and reach out to your host and they just don't respond. So I would say if you're a non-techie, you have no coding skills, you don't know how to go into and change things like your PHP, etc., then you need to have a host that will help you with those things. So check it out very carefully. I always tell people, if you're not sure whether you're going to be making websites for a living, you just want to test, you just want to try, then you go for the cheapest and you just play around and you see. And there are free versions like, um, you know, uh, local by flywheel and uh, these guys that you can do on your local host, but we're not going to cover that there. So when it comes to hosting, yes, there are options, partners on our website. I do know that if you've been longer in the game, you've probably upgraded your partner. You've you probably work with guys that charge far more. And that is one of the realities. When you work with hosts, you can get very cheap and you can get very expensive. You need to do your research very carefully. Right. So that's the first thing you're going to need. You're going to need a host and then you're going to need a domain, which is your website address. And all these hosts that we feature here, they will help you with the domain. Other hosts won't do that. They will, you will need to go get your domain name, bring it to them, and they will then help you setting it up, but you're not going to be able to register the domain or obtain a domain directly from them. But these guys, if you are new to the game, they will help you with that. Right, so enough of that. We don't want to linger too much on that. Let's go to the WordPress. Right, so let me see, we are still there. I just want to make sure I've got all my, my settings right here. 
Um, let's go quickly to this one, each step, hosting domains and WordPress. Right. So this is what we look at then is the WordPress. After you've got your host in your store, you will have this WordPress dashboard. And I think if you've worked at any time in your life with WordPress, this becomes very familiar to you. If this is new to you, this is where all the admin work is done. This is where all the installations happen. Everything happens from here. And I would say your first experience with the WordPress dashboard, don't let it overwhelm you. Focus on the things that like pages, your themes and your plugins, and don't worry too much about the rest. Follow tutorials online, like on YouTube. And there are literally millions of tutorials out there that can help you to understand WordPress better. And many of the tutorials that we are working here at Brizzy currently on will bring full complete website design tutorials for you in the future. So what look out for those, you will get the hang of that. Right. So we are now in WordPress. There's nothing in WordPress. There's no Brizzy in WordPress. What happens next? And what happens next is the theme to theme or not to theme. Now, Brizzy is not the only page builder in the world. The, the bigger question is, right, what, what, uh, you know, sorry, the, the bigger question is, what does Brizzy do that we do very well? And this is why we often get this question, which theme do you use with Brizzy? I often get the question, what is the purpose of a theme? If you have installed WordPress and you go to appearance, you will see under appearance here, it says themes. When you click on themes, you will see these three appear by default. And currently it says active 2019. This is the theme that comes installed with WordPress. What does this mean? What does a theme do? Now, let me give you a site that was made entirely with Brizzy so that you can have an idea of the role a theme plays when we are working with a page builder. What you see up here is a header and you see a menu within the header with a logo over here. And you've all worked on websites, so you know that if you click on any of these links, it will take you to different pages. Also, when you go all the way down to the bottom, you will see over here what we refer to as a footer. Now, this was all done within the theme. This is not related to the page. This is related to your site. And you can think of a theme as something that control the look and feel of your site. The other thing that themes also do if you look here and I go to blog, and I click on the blog, you will see a very typical blog that we have, news, updates, you know, posts. And if you click on this, you will see then the full article appear over here. Now, this is where themes usually come in. Many page builders do not address this and used to not at all. The theme regulates the blog and it also regulates what we call WooCommerce. So if you have WooCommerce and you go to a shop, this is all done with the theme, not the page builder. But as things have progressed over the last years, we've seen an explosion in page builders becoming what we can refer to as a site builder. So this is important to understand. Themes regulate this appearance of your site and how things display, like if you have a button here that you can scroll up, let me see if I got a scroll up button somewhere, I don't have it now. Um, what is this one here, Hero? No, I don't have one here now. But those are the things that themes can take care of for you. So the question is, which theme is right for you? Currently it's 2019, and this is the standard Brizzy theme that you get. Uh, not Brizzy, standard WordPress theme that comes pre-installed and I think almost nobody uses it. So you will need to, again, hop over to uh, sorry, where we sorry are. Sorry to intervene. To uh, I think uh, there's something and with the screen. Yeah. Maybe uh, we, we all see the the slides, not, not your screen for some reason. I am not sure what's happening exactly. Can you hear me? I think GP has some uh, some internet issues, so <laughs> I I need to step in. 
for a couple of seconds he told me that uh, yeah yeah we lost gp uh, he told me that uh, he's uh, he has some internet issues lately so uh, so uh, if something goes uh, goes wrong we need to wait for him for a couple of seconds i guess that's uh, that's technology for you right yes i'm back right yeah yeah now you're back yeah okay good right that that thing dimitri we talked about it did happen yeah, so i quickly yeah. switch internet that's that's technology for you right it's, that is technology uh, yeah. actually that is just uh, uh countryside south africa very bad internet reception we work on that but uh, okay we fixed that right so let me quickly recap that and i don't want to bore you guys who's been listening to my voice let's just go back to the theme and just you can uh, see my screen share. this time right uh, no I, I still see your uh, the slides i i uh, okay yeah i think we look like another switch. presenter is already sharing okay and here we go mm -hmm. let's go back to it there we go yeah right okay so let's go back to the themes and uh, i've been talking there about let's go back into our dashboard for our brizzy and uh I'm going to go quickly through this then. You need a theme. And the question is, which theme are you going to use? So what we have on our site under our resources, uh, where am I now? Go back here. Under our partners, you go to themes and plugins. And here you will see people that we have been partnering with and that have been partnering with us, working very closely with us to bring you themes that integrate very well with Brizzy. So I'm pretty sure you guys are fully aware of Astra. They just released their version two. Excellent stuff these guys have been doing. And the most important thing is they include starter sites that they made with Brizzy. And what I like about starter sites, it gives you an idea of what can be done with Brizzy. You know, sometimes when you work with a new page builder, you may not understand how it works and you may think it is very limited. And when you see their starter sites, you're like, oh, wow, how did they do this? So definitely go have a look at the starter sites of Astra. Other great themes that we, we really recommend, Page Builder Framework, one of my favorites. I love working with these guys. Neve, I've been testing, and actually this WooCommerce site made with Brizzy and uh, WooCommerce is a Neve starter site. They also include starter sites, and we'll be having a look at what they these guys have been doing. So this page here, made with Brizzy, and then you have the WooCommerce element here, over here. So all of this done with our partners. Another one, Ocean WP, also very popular. And then Suki also got some demo sites with Brizzy. The other one that I showed you over here, this barber shop. This is also all done within Suki, and it's one of their demo sites. And like I had shown earlier, the blog. This is what they've done. Very great. And we will soon have a video on YouTube for that as well. And then Zita, also one of the new kids on the block, also come with demo sites. Really good stuff. You can guys can go check it out. At the end of the day, the decision is really yours. We're not going to tell you who to go with. And it's each one their flavor for themselves. So let's go back and let's start working. We've had a look at these things. I'm going to go for this one. Let's go with Astra. And uh, I have to say add new up here and then over here, search themes. Let's search for Astra. And this is just your personal preference. Um, I usually jump between themes because it's very difficult for me to choose the one that I like. But those partners that I've just shown you, the great thing about them is, is that they work very, very well with Brizzy and we've tested them and, and we highly recommend them. Now, of course, as Dimitri said, that's technology my side it is internet so things will take a little bit slower on the site the purpose of the theme then is as you install it is that the theme will regulate things like your header will regulate your footer the the big thing at the moment regarding themes if you go online and you look at what people are discussing about themes are all about speed we're not going to cover that um, but that is the topic at this moment right installed I started getting nervous there. Let's activate the theme. And there we go. Astra has been installed. And thank you very much for that. So yes, the question is that we had asked earlier, when you want to theme, is it, uh, do you need to theme or not to theme? With Brizzy, the answer is, if you're going to use our free version, you will need a theme. You can build a page and you can have a header that you can design within Brizzy by yourself on the Brizzy page by default. But 
I would recommend go with the theme, try it out with the theme first. And when you are comfortable not using the theme elements and designing it all by yourself, then you can design it by yourself. But at the end, you will need a theme. There's no such thing as not a theme. Right, so let's look at where you can get install and activate Brizzy. I see a question down there at Generate Press. Yes, Generate Press is on our list as well. Uh, I've tried with Generate Press before. Really, really great. No problem with Generate Press. Um, and there's quite a number. Like I said, we can go on with the list. Everyone has their own flavor. Good. So we have a host. You got a host. You got a domain name. You have WordPress. You installed your theme. And now you want to start building. So that's where Brizzy comes in. And I just want to go back quickly to this page over here. Let's go back here to our services page just to give you an idea. Now you understand that the top part here, that is your theme. You can do that with the theme you like. And then the rest of what you see here on this page like this. I really love this section because it's one of those things. This was done with Brizzy. Yes, it was done with Brizzy. I really like this. This is very good design and I love the color theme for this barber shop. This page is where the page builder comes in. Everything you see on this page had been done with Brizzy and it was done very, very easily. So when we talk about page builder, we talk about everything between the header up there and the footer down here. So the rest, that is where the page builder comes in. So a quick question, do I need a page builder? And the answer is no, you don't. Actually, you don't. I, I was just saying at the beginning that we used to make websites in WordPress with just themes. And many themes come with builders included. And now with Gutenberg, you can go a very long way. So why are page builders so popular? Sorry to, to in intervene again. You need to share your screen. Something something is... Uh... Okay, wait. I have many buttons that keep popping up here. Yeah, it's not playing right with... I don't know. Okay, sure what's right. Let me but... go there again. Each step, share your screen. Okay. Uh, Dimitri, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to just stop, stick with this share screen yeah, at the yeah. moment. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, right. So then, then we won't run into this one again. Right. So uh, I, I keep... But this is our technical part. We were just saying uh, we will figure it out as we go along and then all the hiccups that can happen tonight is happening. So thanks guys for bearing with us. We'll make it to the end. Right, so let's get the Brezzy plugin. And the question I had stopped there with is why do you need a page builder? And it's because of functionality. It's because of user experience. And it's because it brings far more than maybe what the default is bringing for you. That's also the reason why there are so many page builders out there. It's again about different strokes for different folks. We love Brizzy and that's why we are going to use Brizzy and we're going to look at the free version tonight. Within WordPress, you go over to plugins and you click on add new. When you click on add new, you're going to see these things pop up here. And they are all plugins. These are the things that you can get that will enhance your WordPress experience. I always explain to people, these are like apps on your phone. You buy a phone and you want your phone to work better. You want to get WhatsApp, so you install the app on your phone. This is exactly how WordPress works. You want to install Brizzy, it's like an app. So you go over here into the search bar and you type Brizzy and voila, there is Brizzy, Brizzy Page Builder. And that number, number has to go up. Click on install now. And then we will go through the installation process. And then same thing that we did with the theme earlier. Once it has installed, then you activate it. And the only question is how long is it going to install now? I need to get some lightning fast internet here. But here in the Bundus where we said we are not privy to that. Good, so what we are installing here at the moment is the free version of Brizzy. And a free version, that's exactly what it does. And the question that we also get a lot is what is the difference between free and pro? Now, if you go again to our website, you will see here at the top, it says pro. And what pro offers you is a lot of extra functionality that you're not going to get in the free version. If you just look here at design, you get 150 plus premium layouts and blocks, more elements, shape dividers, custom fonts, and filters. This is just under the design alone. If you go through all this, you can have a very good idea of what Pro offers you to that of the free version. 
Can you make a website with the free version? Absolutely. And we're going to have a look at that now. So here we are, it's been installed. All we need to click now on is activate. As I click on activate, you will see now here in the sidebar on the left, there's this new label that appears Brizzy with a few settings here. We're not going to care about that. We are going to start building our page. So wait a minute, let's have a look at how our site will look now. Before we, we go up here to webinars, visit site, and this is how our site currently looks. And this is uh, go back to dashboard. It will take us again into the back end of our WordPress site. Good. The first thing we're going to do is create a page and we will just say add new. If you click on all pages, you will see that currently there are already two pages installed by default. This comes with every WordPress installation and it's the most frustrating thing. I just don't like it. Some people will leave it there. I like to clean house. So I just selected them all by clicking up here. Then over here, bulk actions, I'm going to go to move to trash and then apply them. This is just housekeeping. I just don't, I don't like them there. They, they are harmless, but I don't like them there. Click on trash and then I'm going to click on empty trash to get them out. So now you can see if I click again on all pages, no pages found, which means there's nothing on my site now. I, I, I have to start. So I go to add new, you can click add new up here or you go here to the left. Let's click up here, add new. And then we're going to call this a home page. Close that pop up and then home. Good. Once you've done that, you go up here to the right and you click publish. Then they're going to ask you, are you ready? Yes, I want to publish it. And the next thing you're going to say is edit with Brizzy. So this button appears here and this will now allow you to go into the Brizzy editor and do your editing from there. So let's click on edit with Brizzy and we see the spinning wheel and now we are on this page. Now two things I just quickly want to draw your attention to. You don't see a header here, you don't see a footer here. And the reason for that is that you have the ability to build a page in Brizzy without using those things. You can build it yourself. But if you have installed a theme that you want to use, you go down here to the but bottom button where it says page, and you click on page. And then when you see page template, you click on the drop down and you choose default. Now the page will change. And now we see that lookout or that, that display layout that is part of the Astra theme. This header up here that's made with Astra and then the footer down here, you can even see it says Astra. That is your choice. And for this tutorial, I'm not going to use this. I'll just use the default Brizzy. So I go down again here to page and I say Brizzy template. And here is your page. Now let's, before we start and do anything here, have a look at what happens if somebody were to come to your site and they were to visit this specific page at this moment. And to do that, you see here at the bottom right hand corner, you have an update, which is a save button. And next to it, you have a preview button. The preview, if you click on it, it will open a new page in your browser and it will show you the page. And no surprises, the page is empty, right? Because we don't have anything on this page. It's an empty page, right? So let's now go and build something. Now let's talk about the free version of Brizzy. If you click here, start building your page, you just click on this one and it will open this pop-up box. Now what you see here will look a little bit different next week because the update that's going to come out within the next few days will change a few things within this layout, but the workings of it is exactly the same. We have blocks here at the top and these blocks that you see here, pre-made blocks and they are for you to use. So if you have no design experience or you have, yeah, well, you're a little bit short on creativity tonight and you don't know what to do, you go through these and you can decide, okay, this one over here, I think this will be a good idea for my, for my website's header. But you can also, if you look over here on the left, you see styles, light and dark. If you click on dark, it's going to give you dark versions of those blocks that you just saw. You see, it just changed a little bit. So if you want to have a darker site or if you want to have a light site or if you want to mix them, then you just go between them. So remember, you've got light options and you've got dark options. And also something that's going to be released very soon here on Brizzy is some extra 
excellent new blocks. So yeah, everybody is very excited about that kit, and it's it's one of those things that make us nervous because it's a big expectation, and it's coming, it's coming. So let's work with the blocks that we have here. On the left, you have categories. So if you want to have something at the top, like a cover, click here on cover, and you see that one that I just talked about appears there. It's a very good cover or a hero image as we refer to it. If you are looking for a block that is maybe like a contact form, you want to have a contact form on your site, you click here on contact and it will give you that. So let's bring in a few blocks and it's as easy as, let's go back to cover, as clicking on it. And once you've clicked on it, it will appear on your site. There we go. Now you can just scroll down to the next one, click add a new block. Let's say we want to do a light one. Let's go to features. This time we want to add a few features for our site. This one up here, click on it. And there you go. It's added over here. Let's build out a little bit more. What will we have now? A call to action. If you don't know what a call to action is, a call to action is basically a button. Usually it's a button. It basically says if you want to subscribe, if you want to know more, if you want to download, there's always a button on a call to action or a, a social icon. It it wills you to do something. So let's choose a call to action slide over here. This one, side by side, the drag and drop. And look at what I'm doing. I'm slowly building out a framework for my site with these pre-made blocks. And then let's add here a social. What do we have over social? Ah, something like that. A follow us on social, great. And a map, let's add a map mm, over here. Good, and also contact info. This will of course depend on the site you are making, but this is how easy it is if you have no idea where to start. If you don't know what to do, you just follow these blocks. Now, great, I've done these blocks and if everybody's going to do it this way, then everything is going to look exactly the same. So of course you don't want that. You want your site to look different. And we're going to show you now exactly what you can do to change these things. If I, let's go to a light one over here. If I hover with my cursor over this shapes here, you will see these little bounding boxes appear. There's a blue line over here. You see these dotted lines over here. And this is the containers that we work with to build out this page. Before we do that, let's update the page here at the bottom. I go to update just to make sure I save the work. And there's a lot of shortcut keys and, and I'm a big shortcut key fan. So, you know, if you're on a Mac, it's command S to save. If you're on a PC, it's control S. And then we click on preview to go and have a look at how this page will look now on the front end. Okay, everything is there. And that's the page that we had just created. That's how easy it is. Right, so let's go back, we'll click back here. And now we go and we are going to change the content. So let's go change the content of this cover here at the top. Let's say, for example, you want to change this title to something regarding ice cream, right? The best ice cream in the world. All you do, and this is where Brizzy excels, all you do is you just click on what you want to change. So this title, I click on it, and you see this context menu pop up here at the top. Now, this will then be able, you will be able to make all the changes that you need for this title. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the text. You can click and drag like this, like you would do in Word, or you can double click and triple click to select the text or you can use the shortcut keys, control command A on your keyboard. That's what I'm going to do. And then we say best ice cream, oops. Okay, let me just click back in there. Best ice cream ever. Now we have typed it in, let's go and style it a little bit. To do that, you see the pop-up bar here at the top, your options toolbar, it will give you everything that you need to style this with. The T stands for typography, and that is a big word for font. Now, the problem that we have is if I do this, you cannot really see what I'm doing there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go here to the left and you see here is a display of all the blocks that we've just created. Another great feature within Brizzy. So I'm going to grab this second block by clicking and holding on it and I'm going to drag it above that one and you will see the order of them change here, right? I'm just doing it now for this purposes so that we can have a better look at the text element. Click again here on this one click on the T and you see the context menu go to the top. Nice. Here's our feed uh, settings. Currently it's a Montserrat. So let's say I want to change it to another font. Uh, let's go for grand vibes. Ooh la la. And uh, 
we split it on great vibes you railway pacifico i think this is a nice font but i don't like that i and c mm. lately i love this one yes for one but this is not an ice cream font monoton okay that's a little bit too funky right let's not waste time on that i liked great vibes for ice cream right so i've chosen the font over here and then you have options to do all the styling over here the size let's increase that to 120 pixels that's how you increase it you can also ugh, i've got a cat here let me just get rid of that um you can also go up and down here with your cursor and then over here is the weight and the weight is how thick the font is this font only has one weight so it's set at normal then over here you can change line height as well as the letter spacing i can reduce it uh, and let's put it at one Okay, so this is everything about your font and there are far more features to this font than what you just saw here. And next week with the new font manager, there's a lot of extra functionality that comes in like adding custom uh, fonts in the pro version. And I mentioned to you earlier when we looked here under um, was a design, one of the feature is custom fonts. It says soon and soon is as soon as next week, which will allow you to add your own fonts from not only Google fonts, but also your own fonts that you want to use on your site. Right, so we're done with the font and then let's change the color. You click here on this little swatch over here. If you hover over it, you will see it says colors. And here you have this color preset palette as well as a color picker over here. And down here you have your hex code that you can enter over here. I'm going to choose white. That will make it easy to see this blue background. And you have a lot of other features like you have alignment. Um, let me click on that again. And you have extra settings. We will not go into that. So that is how easy you can change the content of a pre-made block. Let's go, for example, down here to this button. I'm going to click, triple click in the button to select all the text. And then let's type in there, try new flavors today, right? So new flavors, new flavors of ice cream. No coding skills, uh, no, money required. You will need to bring your money. Some, let me get it right, some money required for the new flavors. Okay, but our background has got nothing to do with ice cream. So we have this guy typing on here, let's go change our background. You see the settings up here, click on the settings. And then over here, there is a setting for your background. If I click on that, let me just scroll down. You can see the pop-up box and here is your image selector. So I'm not going to use this image and to do that, I'll delete the image over here and then I click on this little upload icon to bring in a new image. Now this media library is part of WordPress and this is where you store all the media that you will use on your site. And to do that, you can click here on media library and you will see these three images currently loaded within my media library. They are there. And you will see this one here. This is the one that's currently the background. So every time you bring in a block that you're going to use, it will appear here. But I don't want to use these images. So I have my own images over here. And I want to use them. As simple as that, you click and you drag it and you drop it. And it uploads. And it's already selected. All you need to do is click select here at the bottom. And voila, Saigon Joe, you've got the image in the background, right? Now let's have a look at what else you can do with this image over here. You see there's a little blue dot. Now this is what we call, I call it a focus selector. If I grab this blue dot and I drag it up and down, you will see my ice cream move up and down, but it's not that clear. So we're going to fix that soon. But let me go back to that uh, background. Okay, here. And you see, I can move it and my ice cream moves around. So I'm going to put my focus selector there. What the focus selector actually does is that if somebody were to view this on a smaller screen or on a tablet or on a cell phone, then that part where you put that little dot will remain the focus within that display. But now you tell me, JP, I don't like this blue background. What is that blue overlay doing there? So let's go there where you see the little blue button. It says colors and you click on that and you will see up here, it says overlay. Currently, this blue color is selected and it's set here what we call the transparency. It's 10% 10, 10 transparent. If I drag it down like this, you will see the image comes more through. And finally, if I bring it all the way down to the bottom, my image comes to life, right? So if you want your image without any overlay, 
that's what you will do. You'll bring it down. The problem that you face, and this is a design aspect, is that when you have text like this that is all white, it doesn't display always very well on this. So what we do is we usually add a little bit of an overlay there just so that the text can pop out if you have this contrasting and clashing kind of when they don't contrast well enough. So let me choose one of these colors down here. Okay, I like this actually, a little bit of purple, and I'm going to reduce it just a tad like this. And it looks good, right? Not bad. And remember, this block, you brought it in from those pre-made blocks that we have in Brizzy. You didn't design this block. You just changed the content. And that's all you need to do with the rest of it. So if you go down to this section, again, if you want to change the text, you just click on the text. There's the toolbar. You start changing. You select your text and you type in your new text. You come down here, same thing. You click on all the elements and you start changing it. Right? So this is how you work with the pre-made blocks. One of the great features, we talk again about the pro version. And let me just go and try and find a, my pro version. Is this my layouts? Let's go here. Okay. Plugins. And I go to install plugins. I think this is my pro version. Yes. When you install the free version, it will appear over here. And when you buy the pro version of Brizzy, it will appear over here. Now, the benefit of the pro version of Brizzy is that it comes with pre-made layouts. So if I go and I say add a new page here, and I'm going to call this page also a home page, publish it, publish it, and edit with Brizzy. You will see now when I click here on start building your page, this little button appears here at the top that says layouts. And these are pre-made full page, full website layouts that you can use. And again, you can change it and style it the way you would like to use it. So for example, if we go here, there's one called construction. If I click on this one, you see there's a few pages here. And if I click on the page and import the page, it imports this entire page complete for you to use. Right, and that is what is very great about the pro version. It comes with these layouts and more are being added. This is going to be a big feature that we're also adding with the upcoming landing pages. Really great. Let's jump back into the free version because we want to focus on the free version tonight. Right, so you tell me, JP, that's good and well. I see you have these blocks, but I'm not interested in using those pre-made blocks. What I want is I want to build it myself. That's also fine. Let's see first how you can clear this page. Go over here, click on the reorder blocks. You see those blocks that we just made? and there's a little X next to them that will delete it. I'm going to click it and clear them out like this. Now our page is empty again. To build from scratch, you click here on the little plus and then you will see this one over here that says add a blank block. Click on that and it brings in this block here with these two blue containers. There's nothing there, it is absolutely clean. It is just a block. And this is the sections that we use to build our pages. If you look again at this website that we have over here, you will see we have like a block here, this image. Then we have another one over here, sections, another one, and another one. And these are the blocks that we refer to. Website builders all work like this. They work with sections and blocks. And within this, we put the content. are columns. Columns bring structure to your site and everything that you want to build, you can put it within a column. So let's first focus on our block and let's say we want to do something with the ice cream again. So I want to have an image on this block for my background. Go up here to this one and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a second block and the reason for that is so that I can have that toolbar pop up at the top. Click here on the settings, go here to background, and now you have seen this image one before, and let's choose another image. Okay, I'm gonna bring in this lady with the ice cream. Summer, summer. I know in the Northern hemisphere, you guys are going into, what is it? Autumn, fall now, and then winter. But we are having spring and summer very soon. We actually celebrated spring day, just where are we today? The 5th of September. We celebrated on the 1st of September. So yes, we are ready for summer down here. Winter is over. Good, so I selected that image, the image comes in, 
and we can see the ladybug. We can see this block is not the way, it's not high enough. We want to see more of her. How do we do that? If you hover with your cursor here at the top, and it's very difficult to see because it's blue on blue. So let me go hover on this one up here. You will see that blue bar appear that says 75 pixels. That is the height at the top of this block. So if I want to add more, I want to make it higher, all I need to do is click and drag like this. You see what happens? As I click and drag, it increases the height. And you can also do it here at the bottom. So let's go and do it for this one over here. Click and drag. Nice. And then for this one here, click and drag as well. Good. Now I'm really in the mood for some ice cream. So we've got this content in the background. If I want to add an overlay, I go over here to colors and I can maybe add a white overlay like this. Doesn't work at all. I can reduce it a little bit, but I, I like the funkiness of this image. So I'm going to reduce it all the way to zero so that we can have the image as is. Let's add a heading now. We want to say something like summer is here. I just want to rub it in. To do that, we have to bring in an element and elements are your content builders within your page builder. So over here on the right, you see there's a little plus. We've got two columns, a column on the left and a column on the right. So I want to bring my text over here and put the header over here. If I click on this plus, it opens this sidebar here on the left and you see all these little blocks with little icons inside them. These are elements and they are the content builders of your site. And the first one, which you're going to use the most is your text element. Let's click on it and I'm going to drag it like this until I get over this little plus and drop it. And you can vaguely see some text over there. So let's work with it. Remember what I told you earlier, whenever you want to edit something, all you need to do is click on it. So I'm going to click on it. There is my toolbar again. And the first thing I'll do to see better, I'm going to change the color. So I click here on the little color swatch and I change it to white. Now I'll change the content. I'm going to triple click to select all and say summer is here with an exclamation mark. And now I'm going to style it to the topography I want. So I click here on the T. Let's choose again a nice March script. I'm not sure if I'm a big March script fan. Great vibes. I'm going to go for great vibes again. Too small. So let's increase the size or let's just add in something like 120 pixels. Summary is here. I think that looks okay, but too much space here. And that is all about the line height. So what I'll do is I will reduce the line height to one. Ah, that looks better. Let's even increase it a little bit more. I'm just going to like that. Ooh la la. Okay. And one of the great features in the update, which you can check out for the new beta that has been uploaded today is shadows for fonts. Yes, it is there. Go and check it out. Did you see how easy that was? I brought in that text element. I dragged and I dropped it there. And immediately I have my text on this background. So how does this look on the front end? Because you can see the blue boxes and all these pluses. Let's update here at the bottom. Control command S on your keyboard. And then we go and preview it. Let's see preview. There we go. I have a block here at the top, so that's why we have the white space at the top. This looks really good. And immediately, just with a very good image, a nice little title, you have a very good hero banner to start with. But let's say you want to add something, you want to add some extra text down here. Now you go again here to add elements, grab your text element and drop, drag it over here. And then you will see that gray line appear there. Drop it. And you have another text element below this one. Click on it again. I'll change the color first. And then I'm going to select all the text, all the flavors you can imagine. Imagine. Right. Again, we're going to style it. Click here on the T. This time I'll use Lato, something a little bit different, and I'll increase it. And it's not very clear. So what I'll do is I'll go to the weight and let's make it bold, right? And I'm also going to increase the letter spacing a little bit and I'll align it in the middle like so. Uh, no, let's go to the right, to the left, 
to the left, to the right. Okay, good. So there we have that little bit of a tagline. And let's say you want people to maybe click on a button here. You go to add elements and you see next to the text, the button element over here. Click and drag and drop it below it. And then it says, visit us. Oops, visit. So this will take you to another place on the page. And then what you do is you go over here. You have learned now about all these elements. What I'll do is I'll just change the color. Background, I'll make it white. The text, I'll make it blue. And let me just make sure that's right. And then over here, when people hover over it, I want it to look a little bit different. So I'll go background, I'll take the background away. The text, I will make it darker. And then for the border, I will also make it darker like this. So when they hover over it, it does this. Now the background, I need to add a little bit of white there. Okay, let's see. Oh, am I still? Right, there we go. A Little bit of that, uh, not the best of best, but you get the idea. And, and this is how you build out a section within the Brizzy Page Builder, as easy as that. If you are done with this section, you just go here to add a new block, click on it, add a blank block, and then you can begin to build out more. So let's have a look at all the elements over here. You have an icon element that allows you to bring in icons. And if you click here on the settings for the icons, I think it's up to 4,000, if I remember correctly, icons that you can play around with. And you've got outlines, like this, and you've got the glyphs, the fill flat icons for that. Other elements over here, image, of course, images are very important, image elements, and you are now familiar with this little upload image. You can bring in images, and under that, maps, forms, icon boxes, countdowns, progress, the works, right? And this is how you build it up. Now, actually, I just want to show you quickly something that I'm working on at this moment. And uh, this is a series that I'm working on that we will be doing soon on Brizzy. The idea is that I will be bringing a lot of design tutorials for people who want to have some ideas of what to do, like how do you create hero banners? What are the elements of hero banners? How do you create contact forms? How do you create a good look looking call to actions and what, how, what is good aspect ratios, what are good settings for it. So actually this is the one that I've been working on for the very first tutorial. And I just wanted to uh, show you, um, you know, these are all the things, all the elements, a good background, a simple title, a simple tagline under it, and how good it looks if you just bring it in and how you can build it up. One of the reasons I actually came here is because this is the current beta version and I just wanted to try this. The here you see over here, click on that, go to topography. No, go to here, colors. And you will see a new option appear over here called mask. Click on that. I hope this works, Dimitri. I haven't tried it yet. Um, this one, let's use this one and say select. <gasps> Beautiful. Let me see that again. I cannot believe it. I love this effect. Sorry, uh, I know it's maybe a little overused, or so, but I just love this kind of effect. And this is one of the features that will be in the update for next week. And if you have access to the beta versions, go and play around with it. There's quite a number of new features in it. And I just wanted to test it here at this moment to see if it really works because Dimitri teased it last week and he showed me and I said to him, yes, 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 absolutely, yes. It's one of the features I love. Right, so this is very essentials video and I'm very sorry for the slides that didn't work. We wanted to make sure that you can follow along very carefully with how everything works. We started at the very beginning that you needed a host. Let me go over here that you need a host and then from the host, you can go and check our partners, but you probably have your own partners. And you can then after that, when you installed WordPress, you have a domain, you need the theme, and you can again decide the themes that work for you. We all have those themes we love. I'm one of those people, I, I, I always wanna try new things. Uh, of course, you get burned all the time when you try new things. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't work. And then from there, when you start building up your pages, you can either use the ready-made blocks that we have, or you can build up your blocks from the beginning, 
from scratch like this. You can also use those pre-made blocks in our pro version. And then that's it, right? And then after that, you update your sites and you publish it. So I know the problem is often when I also watch YouTube videos online of other people show how to make um, websites, it looks super easy. And you watch it and you think, okay, I'm gonna do that. And when you get behind the computer, you get stuck. So the only advice I can give you is that if you don't do website development often, you're going to struggle every time you do it. It's, it's a matter of the more you do it, the more familiar you become with it and the more confident you become in doing it. So just practice a lot, um, look at what other people do. And usually what I tell people is copy. Don't, don't be shy to steal work, go ahead and, and just copy what someone else has done. The more you copy, the more comfortable you become with it. And then later when you start building up your own, well, identity, you will feel more familiar with it. Try and see what works. You know, in music, it's the same when we do music production, we listen to good music and you compare it to what you are making and you make and try to match it with that. I'm going to switch back to, let's see the slides. So I want to make sure that I covered everything Get install and activate Brizzy. Building with pre-made blocks, yes. Build a block from scratch and surprise reveal. Surprise, surprise. Okay, let me get my post-it note. I put it over here. Okay, there. Right. So for everyone that has attended tonight, you are aware that currently we are running, and I think it's the last day tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken, we have a summer sale. Where is the summer sale? We removed it here. It was a 20% discount. If I go here to pro, yes, we have a 20% discount on personal and studio, right? This is our summer promotion. And I believe the last for that is tomorrow, but for everyone attending tonight, and I hope I'm going to say this correctly, because if I make a mistake, Dimitri is going to kill me. We are giving a 20% discount on the lifetime. And that is only for people who attend tonight. We've got your, uh, email addresses because you've registered and we know who's been here and you will be receiving a personal email with a personal code that will give you 20% discount on the lifetime license. And before you tell me, oh, I already bought the lifetime license. Yes, you can give it to someone else. If you already have the lifetime license, take your code and give it to someone else. You can also do that. But everyone who has attended tonight, you will get a discount code for 20% discount on the lifetime license. And Dimitri hasn't interrupted me, so I believe I didn't make a mistake with that, right? Okay, and that's our surprise reveal and a big thanks. We are within time. Again, it's a little bit rushed because we just covered the essentials. We have a few more uh, interesting webinars coming up. We're not going to tell you yet what it is, but so keep checking out your uh, emails and the newsletters and the forum. We will bring you all of those things and keep you up to date with that. Right, so let's see, that's a very good deal. I'm going to have a look quickly at what some of you have said here. How long can we use it? Uh, good question. I think the code is yours. The code is going to be there. I'm not going to make a commitment to that, but I believe you will have some time before you you need to use it. Uh, is the lifetime license good to build other people websites? Oh, for sure. You can use it on as many websites as you want. Please show us the type shadow. Okay, I haven't actually tested it yet. So let me go to the one that, and now I'm going to be very nervous. Where is it? Shadow, oh, here we go. There it is. Let's, let's click this hero, go to shadow. Okay, now we're going to select this one over here. Uh, let me, this 555 already applied here at the bottom. Oh, sharing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this one is not going to work, right? Let me see. Shadow. Let me do it again. Shadow, and I need to choose a color. There we go. This one with the mask, it's not going to work because the mask is a cut GP. out feature and that's GP. why the shadow would be like that. Oh, you, yeah, I'm again not yep. sharing, right? Yep. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Share your screen. Click share. Okay, I live in the world of disbelief. Here is the shadow. Let me undo that all so you guys can see what I've done. Design with D Brizzy, I'm going to highlight that. Go to colors, see shadow over there. 
you just select the color. So let's say I want to use gray, always a good idea for shadow. And your parameters are set here at the bottom. So you have five here, which is your dispersion or your spreading. Then you have five, and if it's five, it is to below. So it's five pixels to the bottom and five pixels to the right. And when I click off it, hello and behold, the shadow has appeared, young one. So really, there you go. The shadows work. And uh, I know, I think myself included, we've been asking for some of these features since last year. So thank you guys. We are so excited. We're very happy and it works. So yes, if you guys have access to the beta, you can go, go to your pro account, go check it out. Um, I think I did, uh, I, where was it? I was in my pro account. I wanted to show that, but that's fine. And you can play around with these features that we have here. And I think before we leave, one thing that Dimitri posted in Facebook today is your favorites. So if I go here to add elements, you will see this new button up here called edit. Click on edit and you see the little blue buttons appear. So for example, I hardly use SoundCloud. So I just unclick it. I uncheck it. And what you do is those things that you don't want, you uncheck it like this. And then if you say done, they are gone. Beautiful, right? So you can really free up your real estate here in the sidebar and only have those features that you want and the ones that you use all the time. For example, if you know you're not going to be using embedding or you don't have maps, you just deselect them. Lovely. I like how this can be cleaned up. Really great within the builder itself. Great. So there we are at the end. Um, we will, uh, let me just get back to this, stop sharing. Go back here. Where am I? I'm getting lost here with all the tabs that I've opened. Right, you can use the embed element. Right, guys, let's see. JB says that get Pro have another have another stuff. Uh, thank you, great demo, right? Right, guys, thank you very much. Yeah, Flaticon, very nice. Uh, Diego, I actually use these guys a lot. They are really, really great. Um, Renee, thank you. And everyone, thank you very much for attending. Uh, how to keep same background of the slider without changing the background. Okay, those questions we haven't gotten around to, we will keep them down and we will try and get back to you guys. Have a great night that site. Enjoy your evenings, enjoy your days, enjoy your mornings, and we'll be talking to you again next week.